Hello everyone, in this video I'll break down this motion graphics effect that I have created with the geometry nodes and the cloth simulation. So let's get started. So this effect is entirely based on this video. Okay. So let's start with the ribbon. So we have this ribbon that I have created procedurally uh, because I want to change the resolution of this ribbon so that I can get the desired effect with the cloth simulation. Okay. Uh, we have this line then I resimple it to get the desired resolution and after that I have added this group to pin this uh, from the bottom that we are going to use this in the cloth simulation after that I have converted this to the mesh okay and then I have also created the UV map because we are going to use the texture for this and then we have this material so this is the ribbon then I used this grid to scatter these ribbons okay based on the points so we have something like this okay and after this i have added the random attribute so that we can add the variation in the color okay something like this and also we need to realize this because we need the real geometry for the cloth simulation okay and then we need to use this setup or you can say this kind of hack so that our group work properly with the cloth simulation okay so basically uh, right now there is a limitation in the geometry nodes uh, we can't use the group that we have created in the geometry nodes for any kind of simulation okay so some way we have to realize this group so one of this method is first we're going to create the group for the base geometry so we have this base geometry with the same name okay then we're going to combine this base geometry with the this geometry that we have created procedurally with the join geometry node something like this and after that we can delete the base geometry so in this way our group is realized that we have created with the geometry nodes so now it will work properly with the clause simulation okay or any kind of simulation after that i have added the clause simulation so these are the settings for the clause simulation so in this case i want these ribbons to move something like uh, plastic sheets so i use these kind of settings and I also use this turbulence force with these settings and I have also animated it is rotation so with all these settings we have this kind of motion okay so next we need to subdivide these ribbons because they have low resolution okay so we're going to add the subdivision modifier so this is without and this is with the subdivision okay and after that I have added the solidify modifier to add some thickness to these ribbons and then we use the edge split to fix the shading uh, near to these edges or you can also use the bevel but bevel in this case is really heavy so I use the edge split so now we have these sharp corners and it is really light so after all these modifiers I use this geometry node setup to bake all the geometry so that we don't need to calculate everything on each frame okay and this should be at the end of all these modifiers after the baking of the cloth simulation so this is for the geometry and the motion of these ribbons so next i'll show you the material of these ribbons because we have stored our random attribute to these ribbons uh, we can use that to add different colors to these ribbons okay and i use these three set of colors for different camera motion okay so we have something like this and i have also used this pump map so let me show you that yeah uh, we have this uv map for these ribbons i use that to add the wave texture along the x-axis and along the y-axis and then use the maximum to get this pattern i use that for the bump map so we have something like this okay so this is the material and for the lighting i used only one area light to light up the scene so this one okay and there is also some light from the hdr image so that we don't have the harsh shadow so this is the hdr with this strength so this is how you can create amazing motion graphics with the geometry nodes and the cloth simulation so this is it you can get the project files from my patreon page so thank you for watching, see you in the next video, happy noding, bye.